matters like someone need a prayer just go and pray because the Lord said and promised that when you pray because of Christ that is in you you will always listen Amen so to add in that um, line of prayer let me call Joanne just to encourage you because next week we will be having our prayer prayer and fasting are you ready? <laughs> to strengthen our uh, strengthen our hearing to strengthen our uh, to sense the move of God in the next uh, next uh, so okay so yeah so just to give you this is just a short uh, test I uh, know uh, clip. I'm Joanne. I'm a teacher. I'm a mom. And I'm I am here in front of you to introduce my word of encouragement about fasting, prayer and fasting. As you can see, I have some glasses, jars, and then as you can see, this glass shows about you and me. Then this are the mess in our life. The burdens, the yoke of burdens, the, the fear, the worriness, the hatred, and forgiveness. Now, our topic is about prayer and fasting. How are you going to do it? First, God says in Matthew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, it says, Jesus said um, to his disciples, If any will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Deny yourself. Deny ourselves before we face to Jesus. How are you going to deny yourself? Take out everything. Lord, I live up everything to you. I live up all my burdens to you, oh Lord Jesus. I trust in you. Forgive me. Remove all these fears. Remove all this hatred and unforgiveness. And come. Empty your heart. Now you are empty, right? It's time for you to pray. It's time for you to fast. Have more and deeper relationship to God. Do you know that Jesus do also obey? He obey also to Father God when He prays that He said that not my will, Your will, Father God. Not my will, your will, Father God. As we pray, we will say that also because it's a sign of obedience. Not my will, Lord, as your will, it will be done. All right? Okay, as we ask you our, or humble ourselves before the Lord, the Lord chants, He listens to you. His will overflow. Our love for the Father will be renewed. Every time, every prayer, God will feel something in our in our life. He will show love, overflowing love. And then. A fast will ignite 
of His power within you, it will be a joy to witness to others about God's love and grace. You will be able to serve God in ways you never expected. Am I right? Yes. Thank God. Use the purpose of position God has given you to invite heaven to intervene in the earth. Prepare your heart, mind, and soul, and strength to agree that God is will be done until the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of His Christ. You may see that in Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. John 17 says, Did you pray? I will pray, I, I for, both for this alone, but for them also will shall believe on me through their word. Now, as you pray and fast, God, God put something in you. You will be transformed. You will become more, more than a warrior. More than a warrior. Yeah, you are a warrior, right? But now, He will transform you into a warrior. Every burden, just lift it out. Lift up to God. And then He will transform you. He will help you to break that yoke of bondage. Submit everything and be the yoke of Christ only in your life. As we do the prayer and fasting, after this week, after the seven days, receive this. God says about freedom. Okay. The Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, He gives freedom. Amen.